All of us at Zero Motorcycles are extremely excited to share with you the 2024 SRF, one of the premium bikes in our S line, now available in this new red and black two-tone. Everything that you've come to love about the SRF is carried over into 2024, including the 17.3 kilowatt hour power pack, as well as our 75-10 Z-Force motor that's producing 140 foot-pounds of torque and 110 horsepower, propelling this bike to a top speed of 124 miles per hour. So with 17.3 kilowatt hours of capacity, you're looking at around 180 to 190 miles if you're mainly commuting in the city. We're talking stop and go traffic, uh, regular stops where you're gonna be using the regen to put power back into the pack. If, however, your commute takes you on the highway, you're gonna to need to be able to do some higher speed as well as be stop and go in the city, both to and from your highway on ramps and off ramps. You're looking more in the 110 to 120 mile range in the real world. Now, of course, range is only half of the equation with an electric vehicle, so what about charging? The SRF, much like the SRS, comes with 6.6 .6 kilowatts of onboard charging capability. You, of course, can add an additional six kilowatts by choosing the rapid charger accessory available through local dealers. With the 6.6 .6 kilowatts onboard charging, you're gonna be able to charge this bike to 95% in two hours. Now, because this is our 17.3 kilowatt hour power pack, 15.6 kilowatt hours is gonna be available to you up to 100% state of charge. If you want to charge to 17.3 kilowatt hours, you'll select extended range charging through the dash main menu. That will then charge the battery up to 17.3 kilowatt hours total capacity and will show you 110% SOC on the dash. We recommend that you do this anytime you need to take an extended ride, but for most people, the 15.6 kilowatt rating at 100% state of charge is more than enough to get through not only their daily commute, but in many cases, a week's worth of riding. So in the S line, the SRF, SR, and S all share the same chassis and basic geometry. So we're talking about a handlebar that is a little bit more forward and a little bit lower than the SRS a little bit sportier stance, and a foot peg that is up and back just slightly in comparison to the SRS as well. So it's a truly aggressive naked bike stance. And of course, like the rest of the S-Line, the SRF features 43 millimeter show of big piston forks up front that are fully adjustable for preload, compression, and rebound damping. And the same is true with the 40 millimeter piston piggyback rear shock. It's adjustable as well. Braking is handled by dual radial mount four piston J1 calipers up front that are mated to a radial mount master cylinder. And we've got a single piston floating rear caliper with a 240 mil rotor in the rear. All of those systems come together through the finesse of Bosch's motorcycle stability control system. Now the SRF features the advanced version of that system. So it's gonna have lean sensitive ABS and traction control with multiple different settings, including rain, street, and sport. Those base settings from the MSC are also tied to the ride modes. This bike features five ride modes available from rain, eco, standard, sport, and canyon. Each one of those ride modes is going to have a different throttle response and power delivery, a different amount of regenerative coasting and regenerative braking, but will also have different base settings in the Bosch MSC's traction control and ABS. You can change those settings using the Zero Motorcycles Next Gen app, either for the preset ride modes that are built into the bike or by creating custom ride modes that then you can send to the bike and enjoy your preference in terms of power output and regen, as well as base traction control and ABS features. The SRF tips the scales at just 500 pounds. And I know to some that may sound like a lot, but it's very important to remember, as with all of our motorcycles, the weight is carried central and down low. It's power pack and motor, meaning the motorcycle is incredibly well balanced, very easy to pull up off the side stand, and even easier once you're under throttle. Of course, when using that throttle, this is a clutchless direct drive system using a Gates carbon belt. It's extremely quiet and very low maintenance. 
Some other basic features that you should know about, the charge port for the motorcycle is located just in front of the rider seat. And right above that, we have a storage tank that gives you a small storage capacity, but also two USB ports for charging your phone or running a GPS or whatever you may want to run off the motorcycle while you're taking a ride. As with all of our premium line, the SRF, SRS, and DSRX all also feature heated grips activated straight from the factory, as well as cruise control. It also has all of the available Cypher upgrade features, including park mode, which is going to give you a limited speed reverse and forward crawl for getting in and out of really tight spaces. So for 2024, the SRF continues to hold its spot as the pinnacle naked street fighter in the electric category. Please take time to test ride at a dealer or visit zeromotorcycles.com for more information.